Welcome back to the Hank's Strange Situation, Lifestyles of the Locked and Loaded. Make sure to check out HankStrange.com. You can sign up for our email list and find ways to follow and support our efforts. Armament Axis has mentioned he's heard from a good source the ATF will be going to all the public ranges looking to bust people. Um, now, I don't recommend you run around going out shooting with your pistol brace on the back of your gun. Yeah, I think we've talked I don't about that. I don't, rec I don't. I don't know how ballsy you want to don't be. Don't make videos. But, don't make videos. But <laughs> don't you, you, make you, tickety talks. When you when your ass is sitting in the pokey, mm -hmm. and you got to hire a lawyer and you ain't got no money, and mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. Don't, don't 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 do that. Put your put that put that stuff away for now. Just what? forget about it, and take your old SKS out oh. and shoot that or something. But don't 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 poke the bear. Not a yeah. good idea. Yeah, I agree with that. Um, I think we've talked about it before. If you have it, what you need to do by midnight tonight is you need to remove all the the braces themselves off the guns. That's really all you need to do. Remove the braces off the guns. Separate them. Take, take that brace, put it back into the box mm -hmm. if you have the original box. If you don't have the original box, you take put it in a box, then put it in another box, then put it in a bag, tie the bag up real tight, put it in another bag, tie that up tight, dig a hole, bury them. <laughs> just, Someone, so, just, just so bro. the ATF can't say you had any intention of putting them back on. Look, look. They're, they're, they, they physically don't have the manpower to go around and start collecting things. They don't physically have... There's millions of these things out there. Um, and there's millions that people bought, just bought pieces and put them together. So they don't know where those are either. So, yeah. yeah, just don't, just put it someplace and forget about it for a while. Put it right, put it over there, put it away with your bump stock that you've got stashed. Stash it someplace with don't, that. Don't. And, uh, I mean, I'm not a lawyer telling you what to do, but just put it yeah, someplace, yeah. forget about it. Right. And, um, yeah, it'll be all right. Don't worry about now, it. Now, remember that the, the bump stock thing is being fought, right? There's lots of people out there fighting a good fight on the bump stock. Technically, yeah, possession good. possession of a bump stock makes you a felon. So with the pistol, this is this is what they put out there, right? I don't agree with yeah. it. But possession of that bump stock makes you a felon. Doesn't matter if it's on a gun or not on a gun. The brace... The pistol brace is a different thing. If the pistol brace is off the gun, separated, you can't readily put it on there. They cannot consider it an SBR, right? They, they have to prove today. you had intent. Yes, that's today. Who knows where that's going? But I'm just trying to say, for people out there, if you don't know this, you're not supposed to have those uh, bump stocks either. But those bump stocks yeah, by yeah. themselves, not on a gun, are considered machine guns so, by uh, the powers that be. So don't don't go to the range with your brace, and your your quick reset trigger, and and all your life possessions in your car. Um, don't 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 do that. Don't <laughs> just yeah. put all that stuff away for right now. Let the let the dust settle. Um, mm -hmm. and, you know, yeah, armament and access says, Hank, if your buffer if your buffer tube can accept an adjustable brace, it has to be changed as well. Um, Yes, if it's if it's just a standard car type buffer tube that can take a stock, mm -hmm. yeah. If they want to make a, give you a hard time, yes. So, um, yeah. There's a whole there's a whole bunch of different things on this out there. There's some some things that are conflicting and all that kind of stuff. My suggestion is just remove them. That's the simple way. Lola is sitting over here. She's trying to remind me that there are people who are taking advantage of. Um, the ATF is offer is waiving the um, the fee, the tax fee, for getting an SBR. So the the option here is you could have um, you could have put in the paperwork, and I think you have probably up till tonight, today, or whatever, to put in that paperwork, and then you can get you can change your brace, your pistol brace setup into an SBR. Registered I'm, SBR. Yeah, registered SBR. I, and I wouldn't do it. I have not done it. I would not do it. Have you guys done any of this? No? The, the, so everyone's shaking their heads here for the people listening. Um, however, I've heard from someone that we know who I'm not going to mention their name so people don't start beating them up, that he, one, did it, and two, he said there's about a million people that have done it. You know how long it's going to take for you to get your 
you're gonna take it's gonna take oh a long time. long time before you see your paperwork and until you get your What's... paperwork mm-hmm. until you get that stamped piece of paperwork or you get that stamped email don't run around and be the the range guy with the because they'll fucking throw you in jail the same way until they get it all squared away so don't do it <laughs> don't do it not gonna yep. do it like, yeah go what were you gonna say patrick I know it, <clears throat> what's going to happen when, uh, and this is what I mentioned earlier, is the inevitability that this is all going to get overturned. This is all completely yeah. unconstitutional. The ATF, and we have now seen from Sackett versus EPA, which uh, they got a ruling from the, the, by the way, they got a 9 and 0 ruling. Oh, really? From the Supreme wow. Court. How often in the last 40 years have we seen a 9 to 0 ruling Supreme against Court? the EPA? Yeah. Okay, and that's on the um that's on the uh, that's what on a different it, uh, um... Chevron deference. Yeah. Yeah, the Chevron deference which mm-hmm. yeah. That's what these that's what all this stuff that ATF is doing is and, so, and that's going to get to the, that's going to get to the Supreme Court too and get all shot down. So so what's going to well, yeah what's going to happen when this inevitably gets inevitably gets overturned and the the ATF is stuck with a million people in the NFA pipeline that can't get that are now they have no jurisdiction to exempt you from a tax. Think about it from this standpoint. What other agency can tell you? Oh, you don't have to pay your taxes this year. Don't worry about that. We'll we'll. Uh, all good on taxes. Nobody. What about all these people live in these states where they can't have an SBR? Yeah. I don't, I don't know what to tell you. Well, yeah, I, I mean, you just you, you just you just turn into a rifle. That's all it is. It's not. Yeah. It's not. It's not the end of the. Believe me. Don't start crying. Don't start. You know, having. Yeah. What is a million and... times two hundred? <laughs> 200 bucks 200 million right is it or is it 200 million million dollars that doesn't matter to the government 200 million dollars 200 million dollars fuck we give that woke we give these woke groups all yeah but i I think what patrick is saying is valid if all of this gets reversed you will be getting a bill (laughs) something's gonna happen you will be getting oh yes you will no you will be getting a bill they're just gonna they're just gonna turn it all down and say never mind they'll just yeah oh they'll cancel it yeah Five seconds, they'll rescind your SBR. Boom. Don't yeah, worry. yeah, that's true. Well, easy you know the way. funny and thing. You can the funny you thing want. also that is currently going through the court systems as well is the ATF has no purview for canceling paperwork that they've sent out to people. If you get the stamp in the mail, they have no jurisdiction to go and cancel that tax stamp. And the reason this is getting argued in court right now is because a guy applied for a machine gun tax stamp back right. in 2014, got it, got it approved, and then the, oh, two or three days later, the ATF said, oh, no, 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 we can't do that. We need the tax stamp back. And he was like, I got my tax stamp and you can't have it. So. <laughs> no, it's, it's going to be a question did, did he, did he, that was a make, he tried to do a form one. He did a form, form one, one machine gun and they approved it. Right. Hmm. And then oh, they said, is... oh, wait, never mind. We're not supposed to do that. Oh. Where'd you hear about this? This would be interesting. This reading. is the news. This this happened back in 2014 or 2015, and it's still okay. going through the court systems. Mm-hmm. This is a big deal. Yeah. And so, yeah, well, yeah, that's that's a weird situation. They, can't, they just can't say, okay, you can have it, because then if everybody can have it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This stuff is way far from all being settled. And um, I agree with what Walter said in the beginning. You know, you don't want to be that person getting locked up, right? Just look at no, CRS right no. now. It's no fun when you're getting locked up, you know. So just don't do it, especially if you have a family. If you're a badass and you want to find out, or you're lonely and you want to find out what uh, jail is like and you want to spend a couple couple years or so in jail and lose all your rights for no reason, uh, for sure. Don't, yeah, you, do don't, you, you don't, know. Don't, don't, don't try to be... <laughs> Joe, Joe Patriot, but. don't go fall for this Joe Patriot thing. You're gonna go out and I'm American. I can do what I want. Yeah, you're gonna be American sitting in jail with Bubba. And he's think looking at your ass. That's he's, yep. that's what uh, you're gonna end up getting. Yeah. Eating slop every day in a private run jail. Yeah. yeah. Yep. You're gonna or, <laughs> hey. be in some camp somewhere. They're not sending you to the uh, to that uh, white collar. 
that white collar prison with golf and tennis. <laughs> <laughs> That's for the billionaires, yeah. unless they unless they suicide you, unless they suicide you, which. Uh, yeah. Yeah, you get it, you get it, you get it, you get a Hillary two-shot suicide. Yeah, yeah you know, um, um, yeah. So, but but listen, there's things you could do. Do if you're on the GOA email list, um, or if you want to be, you can go to GOA. They have an email that they're sending out that you can quick fill a form, send it out to your representatives. I just did it today. We got to keep pressure on these guys. Oh there's yeah. A, there's there's like a listen. They have the debt stuff that they have to. Technically, they're out of session, right? But they have to come back and settle the debt stuff. So there is a possibility that they would take it up. I don't think I don't think it's a big probability, but there's a possibility. However, they need the pressure. And the thing is, what what what's the numbers? Is it somewhere between 10 and 20 million Americans that own these things that all of a sudden become uh, felons and the ATF has no authority to even do that? So um, you know, there's fighting. There's this pushback going on here. So luckily the Make sure to check out hamstrange.com. You can sign up for our email list and find ways to follow and support our efforts.